Merchant ships are searching for the survivors of what the government fears is another asylum seeker tragedy. A boat off the coast of Indonesia sent out a distress call yesterday. Six people have been pulled from the water already, but it's thought as many as 150 asylum seekers were on board. From Canberra, Nick Dole reports. Seeking solutions to a growing problem. Prime Minister, uh, welcome to the signing ceremony. Julia Gillard's at the Pacific Islands Forum doing what she once said she'd never do, making a deal with Nauru. Thank you very much. Thank you. The agreement's designed to deter asylum seekers from taking to boats, but many are still risking it. A major search and rescue operation's been launched off the coast of Indonesia after a boat with around 150 people on board sent out distress calls. Six people have survived. Potentially dozens and dozens of people haven't. A merchant ship discovered the survivors. Indonesia had been looking for the boat yesterday but called off the search. Several ships have joined the operation, along with HMAS Maitland and two Australian PC3 Orions. We have a window of opportunity. People can survive in the sea for uh, up to 36, maybe 48 hours. If the new asylum legislation was meant to stop the people smugglers, it doesn't appear to be working. Five boats have been intercepted in the last few days alone. The government wants the offshore processing centres up and running as soon as possible, but there are still many details to work out. Nauru's president doesn't know how long asylum seekers could stay, but says Australia's assured him it won't be forever. And the two leaders are still talking numbers. We haven't gone down that track yet. Um, I suppose there's still more work to be done on how um, the facility Australia hoped to build there will cater for the number of people. So that's still in the work in progress. A permanent fix is still beyond the horizon. Nick Dole, ABC News, Canberra.